we are explaining why air-to-air -air missiles fly nose up and we are doing it right now. Welcome to Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. This is a short video and a companion of our previous video on how air-to-air -air missiles fly. One of the questions that we had is why do missiles fly nose up? Or better, why do missiles fly with an angle of attack? So let's start considering a missile which is flying while the engine is still on and it is flying horizontally. So if we consider the forces that are acting on the missile, we will have the thrust from the engine, we will have the atmospheric drag, we will have the weight, because it influences everything on this planet, and we need to have a lift. The lift is an aerodynamic force, and for the sake of our discussion, let us pretend that it is actually generated directly and only by the missile's small wings. Yes, because the missile has wings, albeit small, and as you can see here, they are symmetric, which is a good approximation, many missiles have symmetric wings. Someone may also start thinking that why the missile has four, in place like a cross, why the missile is round and has this kind of round symmetry, while a plane, for example, is just a bilateral symmetry. But this is taking us too far. Our consideration at this point is that the lift must be equal to the weight because if the weight is higher than the lift, then the missile will fall. If the lift is higher than the weight, the missile will climb. So they must be the same. Since the lift is an aerodynamic force generated by the wings, it will depend from a number of parameters. And indeed, there is a simple formula that explains how to calculate the lift. The lift is 1 half times rho times v squared times s times cl. 1 half is, well, 0.5 obviously. Rho is the air density, which is for our discussion basically an environmental variable, nothing we can really influence. V is the airspeed. Again, in our discussion, it is something that depends from the engine burn and the flight conditions. So, uh, again, something we cannot influence directly. S is the wing surface, so it is a geometrical constant. CL is the lift coefficient. The lift coefficient is a measure of how and how much the wing is capable of generating lift. Understand how the lift coefficient work, let's have a step back and watch our wing immersed into the airflow. If we have a symmetric wing immersed into an airflow uh, which is head-on with the wing, so aligned with the axis of symmetry, well, the wing is not going to produce lift. If we give the wing an angle of attack, we will see that the axis of symmetry of the wing will be uh, inclined, will form an angle with the airflow. In this case, the wing is producing lift. To mimic this behavior, since rho, v and s do not include anything about the angle of attack, well, we should probably use the lift coefficient. And indeed, if we map the dependency of the lift coefficient from the angle of attack, this is the kind of graph that we have. This is just a qualitative representation, different wing profiles and different types of wings have different graphs. We see that if we increase the angle of attack above a certain point, we will have a stall. But what is critical for us is that if the angle of attack is zero, there will be no lift because the lift coefficient will be zero. A symmetrical wind profile with an angle of attack equal to zero will have a lift coefficient of zero, thus it will not produce lift. For this reason, it is necessary that the missile flies with a small angle of attack. And to be honest, if the missile is flying horizontally, the angle of attack tends to be quite small. 
In our discussion, we assume that the lift is produced by the wings only. But to tell the truth, in practice, even the missile body, if given an angle of attack, will produce lift. In fact, there do exist some missiles, like the British ASRAM, that do not have any type of wing and the lift is generated by the body only. And they work quite well. The advantage of not having uh, wings is uh, that the drag, the atmospheric drag, is reduced because the wings do produce induced drag. So I hope this explains why missiles need to fly with an angle of attack. I hope that you appreciate that this is not the usual qualitative explanation uh, depicting the air that is moving at different speed around the missile that tries to introduce a little bit of um, mathematical reasoning. So this is it for today. See you for the next long video. For the moment being, thank you for watching. Goodbye.